why this is fixed it you may have seen in one of my previous videos on the mad waves mad player that QB fell off the table several times and this broke his leg so I need to open him up the servos in the QB are rubbish and uh, now I'm going to have to do another repair job. So I've just unscrewed that leg and now I need to prise this off, which we do at the top here. I now take off this screw and then take out this cap. There you go. Take that off there and then gently move this cable up out of the way. And let's put those two screws in the box. Plastic cap in the box. Now I need to get underneath this base plate. So, oh, these things are pushed together. Okay, and there's the servo. So now I should be able to prise the servo out of there. And there's the servo. Bring in the stand. Bring the QB round. If you're using an electric screwdriver, like this wow stick you want to place a screwdriver on and manually unscrew the screw for a couple of turns and then okay, use the electric screwdriver because if it spins and slips off it will strip the, the shape off the top of the screw and it will also ruin the head of the screwdriver like that you see So now I need to lift this top off. Okay, there's the bottom. If I turn it around the other way and we have a look at this, I think you can see it's completely and utterly smashed that gear to pieces. So literally these things are just not strong enough. So in fact, they do need replacing. So let's spin this over, take that off there. Just move away these black cables that are in there. Place this in the vise and tighten it up nice and tight so that we can see. And then as we did last time, we want to make sure that we spread out these cables. And then I need to put on the soldering iron. Okay, I'm testing the servo like I did before. Using the cell meter eight and it's working well. And as with the previous servo, it worked, I need to change that connector by taking out the wires of this servo and replacing it with the wires from this servo. So I'll do that now. So let me clean the soldering iron and tin it. Take off each of these wires. There is a good thing about this, you get a lovely little motor and a PWN control chip. <laughs> Even though the main cog is destroyed. Actually, this is a different make because the other ones just had two screws on them. So I'm not going to use this. Even though it's the same model, it's not from the same batch. So I need to find out where I put the others. The reason why I'm doing that is that a lot of these things are manufactured all together and there are small variations in them. So this one came from a different manufacturer because it's got four screws in it, whereas the other one only had two. So I actually want to stay consistent. So I've got two more bag servos and these are the two screw types so what I need to do is take these out of here and test them one at a time and switch on the PSU 5.05 press the cell and hold it down so it says servo test press it again and again and now we should have a moving servo great just do the other one so attach the servo to the side of the cell meter 8 and switch on the PSU 5.5 and there we have it, two working servos. So I'm going to replace the one in the foot and then I'm going to replace the other one on the other hip because the ease with which this foot got destroyed I don't want to be dismantling it all the time because I'll end up breaking all these plastic clips that hold it together so I'll do them all at the same time. Yeah. 
here's another little tip for you if you're doing delicate jobs don't have a huge roll of solder because it'll just get caught up everywhere so cut a short piece off that you can just keep an eye on okay so let's clean the soldering iron tip and tin the end and then do one of these at a time let's start with the closest one lift that off okay good next one and finally the orange good job now I'm just going to tin those pads and start at the back and work forward and what I'm looking for is to get a nice shiny ball of solder okay all good okay just clean the soldering iron and tin these little wires after tinning the end of the soldering wire there you go and now what we want now we're going to put these in place and it's not stable enough there okay so that's orange red and brown as you can see good joints nice and shiny and now I'll just switch on and we should see some movement working great so pull those three wires together and then put the top back on that's it might be better to just push those screws out of the way so I can get that on nicely good just do a final twist working against Murphy's law oh now switch it on again watch out for the gears moving before I do anything else because I'm going to replace that servo the black one I'm going to finish this one first I don't like to do multiple things at once because that's how you end up making silly errors so let's just do this so what I need to do is to spin that servo over and slot it in there make sure the cables free I hope you like the video please subscribe to the channel and check out my other videos and make sure you subscribe to see the rest of this series thanks for watching bye